Today we're going to explore the Build an Atom Simulator created by FEP. To go to the simulator, click on this link in the notebook. If you don't have a copy of the notebook, you can use this URL to access the FEP simulator. Once you've opened up the simulator, click the center card to access the symbol version. When you get logged in, if your screen does not look like my screen, you can click on the green plus signs in these spots and that will open up these panels. Also, click the checkbox next to stable and unstable. What we're trying to do here in the simulator is really think in terms of cause and effect. We want to play a little bit with the simulator and explore so we can see what will happen. So I recommend spending a moment or two just moving the different particles around and observing what happens as you move them around in the screen. That way you have a better idea of all of the capabilities of the simulator. Next we're going to move on to this note and notice section. Our objective here is to discover some cause and effect that happens with the simulator. So to note and notice, you can move a particle and you'll see a whole bunch of different things changed on the screen. These are the things that I'd like you to observe. You can write a list of your observations or if you're using the notebook, you can phrase it this phrase, when I drag a proton, something happens. After you've finished your observations or your note and notices, you can move down to the bottom half of the notebook page for some matching. To do these matching sections, what you need to do is read the first half of the phrase, then take a look at the simulator and do exactly what it's saying. So in this case, when I move a neutron, no element card pops up. That's why it's the match in the notebook. Use the simulator to continue making your matches. I hope this helps you learn a little bit more about the atomic structure of an atom. Good luck!